It's Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. Actually, I had a good a good week. I was on Lori Layton's on the mountain, and um, I got his truck box painted. And we're working on the cab right now. He's getting ready for a show on pug wash, I guess. He's building this truck. It's a tractor, but he made it look like a truck, and he's got everything proportioned right. Looks badass. And I'm gonna actually we'll make a video up there when I. When they, when they get it finished, because I'm just helping them out. They've done most of the work, and I'm just getting it sanded down, filling it out, getting some paint on it for them. So, I haven't had much time to work on this car, but I'm going to show you what I did to the car. When I came in here the other day, I was talking about the door, about the coat hanger, and welcome the seam up on the door. Well, this is the door that I have done. So, I'm just going to take you inside and show you exactly what I have done, so you'll exactly know what I did do. Uh, I haven't got much room right now. It's raining inside like a bitch. And, uh, just can't do nothing inside, it was raining, all the cars come inside and all that sort of shit. So anyways, this is the door here that I welded up. I took the coat hanger and I did it all around the edge, I did it all. And what I've done, as you can tell, I polished that right off nice, like, no, I didn't leave any pinholes or anything like that. And I ground that right down thin like that. And the only reason I did that, well, the reason I did that is because I make it as nice as possible. I didn't warm it up, not at all. So this is what it is. This is what it looks like on the inside of that door. That's done, like that's pretty well done to me. Like I mean, other than it's gonna be scratched up a little bit, fiberglassed all the welds, and then I'll show you a little bit more of that door here. In a second, just gotta be fiberglassed and welded up. So this is the inside of the door. I know when I look at the door, I put this piece of bar in here, give the metal a little bit of roundness on the outside. That was just, I take a square tube and beat it on the ground. And if you don't know, but I'm going to tell you, but I built this car all with my eye and my brain, just looking. I looked at a picture and I, was, I built the car. I didn't go back and forth and take measurements off it and look at it four or five times. I looked at the car and I built it. I drew these doors out by hand. I drew the windows out by, just by freehand. So all this stuff is freehand. When I made one side, I traced it onto the other side. Should be the same. So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is a part of the roof that I used. But you can see that I butt welded it all together and you can tell that I have good penetration. It's all penetrated all the way through. This is my square tubing holes. My metal out nice and round. This is my window hole. Um, all my all my welds are X-rayed, and I'll show you. If you don't know what I mean. There you go. I just walked through like that. Look. Well, can you see that pinhole down there, baby? Huh? Can you see that pinhole? Um, Show the folks at home. You see that pinhole? Yeah. That's how I x-rayed that door. I'm badass in it, huh? So that's what I did. I just took it up like that and go around and I hadn't even done that yet. I'm just doing it right this present moment. You know what I mean? I'll go around the door and look for any pinholes. I see a couple pinholes up top. See those? I'll make sure I get them bad boys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then I know that I've got complete penetration and then I know I've also got, you know, it's welded together, there's no pinholes. That, that it's gonna break through or anything. So what I've done with the door now is I'll just take a piece of cardboard, follow me around here. I got some pieces sandblasted for the Cuda that's next door. Got the front end sandblasted and all the pieces for the thing sandblasted. We're gonna get hanging up and get some primer on it. I'm just a one man show right at the present moment. So if things get done as they get done, I guess. All I can do is work as many hours as possible. And then after that, I'll hang out with Sexy. <laughs> We're gonna be hanging out tonight. It's apple blossom time and everybody's having fun in town. And I think we should have a little bit of fun too. Anyways, so that's what I'll do. I'll just take a piece of cardboard and lay it on there and come underneath that, and trace that, and butt weld that on the same way. When I say butt weld that on or whatever I weld that on, I don't know if you know or not, but when you bring a piece of metal and you lay it too far over and you go to weld that on, you're gonna have a big, a big gob of weld there. If you come back and lay that metal on, instead of welding the metal on like this, and have a big puddle of weld going on this side, which a lot of people do, pull the metal back a little bit and weld the two corners together. More penetration, um, it's just better. Even when grinding, you grind it off, all that sort of stuff. As soon as you bring it too far, you've, you've ruined what you're trying to do. So I'd rather it way too small than have it too large because you can't melt, melt that metal down. You can, but when you grind it off, it's gonna look like shit. 
Anyways, this is the other door that I pretty well completed, and uh, this is what it looks like. So I've taken one piece, I've traced this all out, and what I did is I come from this, from the other, this side, and I took a pencil, and I drew that line out, and I just cut it with a plasma cutter, just like I did that window. Jolene cut part of that window out, I think. Being you sexy? Yeah. You did so. Anyways, you know, I'll just cut it with, plas uh, with a plasma cutter the same way. Weld it up to here. I got a seam here, and I made a roll in here to make this piece, and I butt weld this all on the exact same way as I did that side. That door is very light. Or no, yeah, it's, it's probably 30, 40 pounds, probably. Any hinge work, I'm going to do that. When I pocket it or anything like I want to do like that, I can do it after. If I want to cut this out and make so I can get in the inside of the door, I can do that after. If you know what I'm saying? If I want to put a latch in here, I'll do that after. I'll cut that out and, and French that and do that after. I want to make the door first, and that's what you got to do. you got to make the door first. We can always cut that back out and make a nice panel for it. We can always cut this out and weld something in it, like you know what I'm saying? But to, yeah, make the door and then cut things out. Just like anything. I would make a complete flat floor in a car. And then, when I'm ready, I'll cut the floor out where the transmission and the motor goes. It's too hard to try to figure, it's too much work for me, it's too much work to try to figure out where it stops and up and over. Put the floor in, when you put the motor transmission in, you'll see where you gotta cut it, cut it, let it fit it in, and then make a panel to cover it. Piece of piss. So that's what, I, that's what I've done with the car, I got that side of the floor problem. And I think it looks pretty awesome, you know what I mean? And I analyzed it in the light, you see what I did there? Analyzed it in the light so I know where all the pinholes are, so I can go back around fixing fix the pinholes and grind that off perfect. I'm going to a car show, the first car show of the year this year. And I'm excited to be there. Brent and uh, Riley Works asked me to come, and uh, they're going to feature me as a builder. That's cooler than dang it, man. I'm like, I don't know how to explain it. It's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Colchester County, show and shine, June 3rd and 4th. Be there or be square. I'm gonna bring the truck there. Dean Sparkle's gonna be there. We're gonna set up a little tent, speak center underneath of it. We're gonna bring the truck there. We're gonna sell tickets on the truck. Come support me, buy a ticket. If you don't like me, still come buy a ticket. <laughs> it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Like, come buy a ticket, support me. We've got a few t-shirts left over. I think there's some there from some big boys. Um, Things are going good. Things are going real good. Uh, just the other day, I got a phone call, you know. This guy calls me up, his name's Terry. He calls me up and, and says, would you like to have my car? And I said, well, I don't know. How much do you want for this car? And uh, I sort of knew the car because he came here before and he wanted some work done to it. He didn't get any work done to it, but he was thinking about it. And um, he said, my Mercedes, would you? He said, I'd give it to you. I said, what? And I was kind of thinking, you know, it's, it is my kind of car, but it's not my kind of car, it's old, but I would think it is profit, and I would think, you know, we chopped the roof, and I don't think he'd want it that, eh? And uh, Sparkles says she'd love that car forever. She says she'd love that car forever, and I said, well, you can have it. So we drove down and uh, met this man and his wife, looked off, you know, they had a beautiful home, like looked off the view for a little bit, talked a little bit, um, he gave Jolene the car, took us all over to the Registered Motor Vehicle, signed it in her name. It was a good week. It was a badass week. Have a good Friday! I'm gonna. Come on, Sparkle, let's get the hell out of here.